from Queer as Folk, which premieres on Peacock this Thursday. Congrats on the show. It's a, a reimagination of the original Russell T. Davis British series. Yes. For anyone who doesn't know, tell us uh, what it's about and who you play. So, I play a mother of a queer son who wants to do drag and all these things, and uh, loosely based on the creator's relationship with his mom. And, and it was really an honor for me to represent their beautiful um, relationship. And, and also it was to do something different than Yellow Jackets yeah. that was so dark. Um, well, let's talk about Yellow yeah. Jackets for a minute. I like because to do It's characters. such a huge show. It's so massive. Have you, been, have you been surprised by how popular that show has, has become? Have you, have you followed the hype of how it's grown? Uh, no. Right. I, I don't, <laughs> to quote Public Enemy, don't believe the hype. I yeah. don't, I don't, I, <laughs> since I was uh, little, I think it's helped me a but lot. You must have felt but that you're in a I hit hear show. it from the people, mm. the yeah. people in the street, who yeah. talk, you know, and they tell me and uh, talk to me, and then it's really nice. But um, no, you learn in this business never to have the expectation, you, you, just to really get into the experience. And um, people love this show. It's they really, really, cool. really do. It's really it's nice. absolutely great. It's yeah. Mia, you're, 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 you, it's, you strike me as a very, very independent person. Would you say that's correct? Were you always yeah. this way, even when you were younger, when you were a child? Yeah, I've been... I mean, I've kind of kept to myself a lot. I had a... I mean, I had a habit of, uh, I guess, of escaping, running away. Not because I didn't like my parents, but just because... <laughs> I just wanted to go away, you know. I mean, I, as a, as an adult, I guess you know, as artists, you know, you're kind of escaping into stories or stories with that you write or that you act in. And <clears throat> but as a baby, I don't, I don't remember this, but I, don't, I know this from my mom. I was in diapers, maybe a half year old, and I crawled out of the crib, or fell out, and crawled out the door somehow. No. And my mom got up and was like, "Where is he? Where is he?" Hours looking, we lived out in the countryside. No. Yeah, yeah. And like a Lassie episode, eventually the dog found me in the woods, sitting under a tree, soiled diapers, <clears throat> crying, you know. And um, that was what happened. Then, and then it happened again a few months later. <laughs> they were like, lock the dude, let's make sure he's, you know. Well, he won't do it again. That was crazy. I don't know how he did it. He must have been standing and flipped over and landed on his back and crawled away. I did it again, and this time it took longer to find me. It was a Sunday morning. They woke up. I was gone. Front door was open. I don't know how I opened the door. <laughs> and this time the cops, and they went back in the woods, the dog, then cops had their dogs. Hours, and then sometime in the middle of the day, um, it, it, they got a call from the neighbors. It turned out I had crawled out down the stairs, out the driveway, down the road. It was like a country road with cars. And it's like a couple hundred yards. And the neighbors, who were, I guess, a little hungover, apparently, it was a Sunday morning, they were, woke, they, they were awakened by a racket in the kitchen. And I was sitting in soiled diapers again, I guess, um, <laughs> on the linoleum floor, banging pots and pans that I'd gotten out of their cupboard. So my mom got a call saying, are you missing something? And that, and I've, I've kept doing that. As a, and as a teenager, I kept doing that. I feel like I would like... <laughs> I, what I'd love to do... So independent, If you're yes. open to this, yes. I would like to spend 50 hours <laughs> just listening to all your stories. Can we do that? Can we do that? Let's do that. <laughs> Reggie, do you have a question for our guest this evening? Uh, yes, sir. Tonight's question... Is this, uh, if you found yourself uh, outside of yourself, looking at yourself <laughs> uh, at any given moment in time, uh, what, what would you say to yourself uh, as long as your other self were able to respond to yourself? You know, as actors, that happens a lot. <clears throat> and usually when that's happening, it's not going well. You know, it means, oh, I'm not in the camera. Yeah. I would say, go back in <laughs> and carry on. Julia? Yep. Ugh, the, the outside and the inside and the <laughs> outside. <laughs> I, what will we do with her? I don't know. 
her. Is it good to refer to yourself in the third person? She is so, get it together, Lewis. That's what I would say. And then she would say, I am together, or something like this, or I don't know. Look, I think we've all learned something. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've been on a week's ayahuasca <laughs> sort of health farm. Health farm. Reg, is that correct? You know it. Yes, it is. <laughs> you just got to go back in. Please thank Julia Lewis, Vigo Monson, Ben Sabun is here when we come back.